It's a brand new day, my friend. Welcome to the Jam 316 Devotional Hour. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm glad you've woken up early to be part of today's fellowship. My name is James Okubu. Thank you for tuning in. Psalms 125. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forevermore. We can be assured this morning that God surrounds us because we are his people. This week we are in the lion's den with Daniel. Today we want to look at Daniel chapter 6 and verse 10. It says, now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went home. And in his upper room, with his windows open towards Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and prayed and gave thanks before his God, as was his custom since his early days. Profound scripture. Daniel knew the writing had been signed. What writing are we talking about? The king had signed what was proposed to him that for the next 30 days, if anyone in the kingdom was found petitioning to another god except the king himself, they would be thrown into the lion's den. Daniel knew it had been signed. And this one was according to the Medes and the Persians. Once it was signed, it could not be changed. Even the king himself could not change it. Daniel knew it had been signed. What did he go? What did he do? He went home. Opened the windows. <laughs> Prayed facing Jerusalem three times that day, as was his custom since his early days. Ingekuwa ni mimi. Au ingekuwa ni wewe. Would you have done the same? Would you have done the same? That's the question I was asking myself. Would I have done the same? Or would I have said, mm, the decree has been made eh, into law for the next 30 days. God can understand. For the next 30 days, I'm not going to pray. Because I don't want to end up in the lion's den. Or for the next 30 days, instead of three times a day, I'll only be playing, praying once. Kabla watu wa muke ndiyo mutu wa sinione. Mungu si unaelewa. Nothing changed for Daniel. He knew they would see him. He knew they would accuse him. He knew they would throw him in the lion's den. But he still opened his windows facing Jerusalem and prayed three times that day, as was his custom since his early days. What can we learn about Daniel's prayer life, Daniel's dedication? That's what we want to focus on this morning. This week, we are hanging out with Pastor Anthony Amisi from ICC Imara. Amen. You're well? I am well, thank you. And yourself? I'm doing well. God has been good. Great. And he continues to be good. Great. Yes. Yes. As it takes us yet to, to yesterday, before we get into today's subject matter, remind us a thing or two about yesterday. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. My Jemo, this story is working through me. Yeah, I'm and telling you, you're not the only one. It is uh, <laughs> like I'm going through a laundry and <laughs> <laughs> a shaping process. So yes. yesterday, mm. we looked at Daniel being targeted for promotion. Mm -hmm. And uh, we saw that this was a man of, with an excellent spirit. Yes. He's a man who was trustworthy. He was a man who was not negligent mm. in the work that he was doing. Mm. And, and, and we challenged ourselves that uh, we, are, we are to be faithful in our work. Yes. And our faith will be seen at work. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So if you're faithful at, at the place of work, yeah. people will see your faith. Yes. Yeah, they will know your stand. Mm. And, and this man was scrutinized. Uh, in fact, I was just thinking he was put before the public service commission. Commission, yes. He uh, <laughs> was told to <laughs> declare his wealth. Declare, your declare wealth. everything. <laughs> yeah? And, and he came out oh, clean. Wow. He came out clean. Yes. Yeah. And then, and then the key question we asked each one of us, mm. if you are convicted for being a Christian, yes. would there be enough evidence? evidence? That's a deep question. Yes. Would there be enough evidence yes. to say that you are a Christian? Mm -hmm. Is your stand known? Yeah. 
You know those people who even when you, when you go to a restaurant, they're, they're, they're even ashamed to pray. Yes. In public. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you that kind of person who you're not ashamed? Ooh. At a king a restaurant, you can you uh, pray. You stop to pray for the food first. Yes. Yeah. You, so you're not ashamed. Yeah. So I think those, those are the three things I would highlight mm -hmm. as, as as the key takeaways for yesterday. Mm -hmm. And and we left we left off at a place where now uh, the king had signed this law. Yeah. That for thirty days, he's the one who's going to be God. Imagine. Yes. <laughs> and this these guys had come in in large numbers and they had convinced him. That this is uh, what they have seen fit. And I'm, I'm sure it was not hard to convince. It was him. not hard. It was not hard. <laughs> like we said, he had just gotten into power. Oh my goodness! This would cement his authority. Yeah. And the guys played that trick on him. Yeah. Yes. They worked on his ego. He didn't stop to think that Daniel was not there. Mm. Daniel did not appear as among those who yeah. had. And these guys just came and said, "Everybody, everybody, everybody has said you should days. be God." For 30 days. Mm. Now so, somebody said if, if you accept to be God for 30 days, mm -hmm. you have a wrong doctrine. Yeah. <laughs> you have a wrong doctrine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah? And for sure, these guys signed it. Mm -hmm. And the penalty for not bowing down to this king yes. was to be thrown into the lion's into den. the lion's den. Yes. So that's where we left off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is how they used to deal with anybody who would perhaps maybe um, come against the, the, the king of, uh -huh. the, of, of, the, of the land. So the, it was actually prepared. It's a, it's a big hole carved out of a, of a mountain. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and it had the entrance where the lions would come in. Yeah. Then at the top, there used to be a place where they used to drop the, the food the f yes. for, for the lions. And then it was partitioned uh -huh. in two. So, so the one side you drop the food, yes. the lions would transfer, the guy would lock. They would enter and clean up maybe the chaff that was uh, there. Then he would g get back up, he would open it up. So they, they used to do that. Wow. Two chambers. Yes. So it was prepared, ready for executing anybody who would go against the person who was ruling at that particular time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We thank God we live. <laughs> we, are, we live, in, we live this, this. in this generation. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So, and, and yesterday, as, as I was just finishing up, I, I thought. Um, Perhaps there's somebody who's listening to us and they're thinking, I have really compromised mm -hmm. in, in my work with God. After your standard, you're Daniel. Yes. <laughs> when you look at the standard of Daniel and I look at my Christian Thank work, you know, my goodness. I am feeling so guilty. Yes. Yeah. So today I just want to say, First John 1 9 is there for us. Mm -hmm. You know, we can come to God and confess yeah. our sins. Yeah. And He's faithful and just to yes. cleanse us. From all, from all unrighteousness. So don't walk in condemnation. Mm -hmm. The standard is high. Yes. We all fall short, but there's a God of grace mm -hmm. who says, keep coming to me. Yeah. Confess your sins. Yeah. And I will cleanse you. Yes. David says, even though a righteous man falls seven, seven times. Seven times. Yeah. And this is the same David who murdered. I'm telling you. Committed adultery. Yes. But in the end, he's called a, a man after, a man after God's, God's own heart. heart. Because of that repentance. Mm. Yeah. So for, for anyone who is listening it, yeah. and they feel like a, a, a failure in their Christian work, mm. let them know that we serve a God of grace yes. who can restore. Yes. Yeah. So and I thought I'd just mention that. And he can give you the strength. And in fact, he has given us the yeah. strength to overcome yes. that very thing that is pulling you back. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. you can pick your pieces up mm -hmm. and let's now journey together with uh, Daniel yeah. and, and, and follow his example. Yes. So, so Daniel is now a moving target. Yes. Yeah, he's got a big bullseye on his, on his shirt. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's target for, for the enemy. Mm -hmm. But even though he's pray for the enemy, Daniel goes to pray. He's pray for the enemy, yeah, but he goes to... He goes to pray. He goes to pray. He goes to pray. Even though he's pray for the enemy. Yes. He goes to pray. Me, your scripture for six years, you mm. and it challenges me because mm. the Bible says after he knew it had been signed, yes, he went home, yes, and that day he prayed three times, three times, and the Fungua Magisha, mm -hmm. as in nothing moved him, nothing changed. Mm. Because I keep thinking, in your family, as even you are mapping in by the way. Yes, I love to have Melala. Mm -hmm. This is Umbuana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to be food for, the lions. food for the lions. Yes. I, I, I thought the same. Yeah. 
Ama naweza sema si 30 days to It's just 30 days. Kodu na leo. Yeah. Eh, niko leave. <laughs> <laughs> but they had the same thoughts. Yes. Because you know it begins by saying he knew. Yes. He knew that this thing was written, mm -hmm. signed, sealed. And it says according to the law of the Medes and the Persians. Yes. These guys when they made a law changing it was hard. It can't be changed. It can't be changed. Even the king himself yeah. can change it. Can't change it. So like, like you're saying, Daniel, I mean, you should have looked for like a bush somewhere and mm. hide. Yeah. Si God at askia prayer. You don't ask here to a man you betuki moyo moyo. Yeah. <laughs> pray, in, pray in your heart. Then remember Jemo? Wow. Daniel was on the brink of promotion. Yes. Yeah. He was about to be promoted. Ooh. Whether he knew or not, we don't know. But the fact is, he was on the brink of promotion. Pasi kuna kaleso na po. Eh. <laughs> A lesson now, but you know, I, 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 you said that, and I remembered talking to 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 some gospel artists, mm -hmm. you know, and saying one gospel artist was telling yeah. me how they had gone to the states. Mm -hmm. They were actually supposed to sign this huge mm -hmm. record deal, mm -hmm. but they were told your music has got a lot of Jesus. Wow! Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finally, if you were to a tour, you Jesus. Yeah. Just talk about him, he, him, yes, something. don't mention the yeah. name Jesus, yeah, let's just make it generalize it, yes, yeah, then yeah. we will do this thing, mm. Akakata, Akakata, yeah. yes, he was about to be promoted, yeah, about to be promoted, <laughs> the dollars were coming in, wow, this is the same for Daniel, he was about to be promoted, mm -hmm. it was just 30 days, mm. surely, surely, stop him to pray for 30 days, mm. It won't, won't hurt much. Yeah. If anything, you'd have rationalized and say, God, I am better, I'm, I'm more useful to you when mm. I'm alive when than I'm dead. When I'm alive than dead. Yeah, there's, mm. there's, there's work to be done. Yeah. Allow me to stick around for a while. But knowing full well that he was going to die, Daniel went ahead to his usual place wow. to go and pray. He did not cave in. And you know, it reminds me what Martin Luther said eh? mm. That if, if a man has not found something which he's willing to die for, Ooh. then he's not fit to live. Ooh. Have you found something that you're willing to die to for? To die for. Yeah. This was what Daniel said. This, this I'm willing to die for. If it means going to the lion's den, I will go. So. Yeah. Remember the martyrs of long ago? Mm -hmm. These guys who were burnt at the yes. stake? Yes. I mean, these guys refused they to refused. deliver. refused. Yeah, they refused. A guy like uh, Polycarp, Polycarp was yeah. told, you know, just burn a candle for, yeah. you know, in, in worship to the Roman guy who was ruling. And Polycarp said no. Interesting enough, Polycarp at that time was about 86 years old. <coughs> and he said, for 86 years I have served the Lord. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> an associate pastor yes. <laughs> anyway <laughs> polycarp is one of the fathers of faith mm -hmm. kitambo i think historians tell us that he was a disciple of john mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so he's among the people who are martyred many many years ago yeah if there's a there's a nice book called uh, fox's uh, martyrs fox's book of martyrs exactly yes yeah you, you find his story there mm. yeah he's one of the guys who refused when then the roman catholics were you know mm -hmm. the roman empire was really ruling yeah yeah he refused to bow and he said, even if you burn me at the stake, you know, they used to put them on a, on a kipole yes. and burn them. Burn them. Yeah. Polycarp at Alcatar. 86 years old. 86? Yes. Same age maybe as Daniel. Probably, yeah. Yes. He said, no, I have served this God for 86 years. He has never done me any harm. Why should I a compromise wow. at this time? And he was burnt. Wow. He had something to die for. So he was fit to live. And you know, stories like those challenge and encourage me at the same time. Yeah. Because when we look at a story like that from the human perspective, mm. the guy died. Yeah. God failed him. Mm. God did not come through mm. for him. Mm. But that's not the case. Yeah. Because sometimes we expect that uh, God will come through in this way. Yes. But we don't understand the plans that he has. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's the twist that will be there also in the story of Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel was delivered from the lion's den. But there are some who trusted God, yes. went all the way, 
and it says in the book of Hebrews yes. they even sown into half. They were sown into half, yes. Their heads were chopped off. Yes. Yeah. But Paul said, For me to live is Christ. Yes, Christ. To, die to die is, is gain. gain. So whichever way. If I continue living, mm. that is for me to continue laboring yeah. for him. Yeah. But if I die, I'm going to be present going, with him. Mm. So whichever way, the Christian who perseveres to the end yeah. wins. Whichever way. Whichever way. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Whichever way he wins. I like so, that. And I think Daniel, maybe he had that understanding. Mm -hmm. And he said, even if it has been signed, mm. the guy went home to the upper room. Yeah. Open the window, did what he did normally what he, does. This is how I live yeah. my life. Yeah. And, and sometimes as, as a believer, you may think you're at a place where everybody is against you. Mm -hmm. Because of your integrity. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yes. In sometimes office, you wonder, is yeah. it really worth it? Yeah, is it really worth it? Mm. But, but, you know, with God on your side, you, you are the majority. Mm. You are the majority. Mm -hmm. Like that servant of Elisha who panicked. Yes. He said, look, we are surrounded. Yes. Then I think Elisha just prayed and said, hmm. open the eyes of my servant. Let, 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 him let him see. Let him see. And I pray that all of us will see. Mm. Yeah. And even when you're making, you're taking that stand, yeah. that you're saying, I will not take a bribe. I will not, even in the midst of everybody saying, this is mm -hmm. a good deal for the company. Mm -hmm. Let's just compromise yeah. and get it. And our name is going to be up there. But yes, you're the yeah. only one who is saying no. no. You're not alone. Yeah. Yeah. With God, you are the majority. The majority. And this is, I think that's the confidence that Daniel had. Mm -hmm. That even though everybody had come and influenced the king, mm. he went ahead to do what he knew was the right thing to do. Wow. Yeah. See, let's talk a bit about this lifestyle mm. of prayer. Yeah. Because the Bible says this was his custom since his uh -huh. early days. Yes. Yes. I read that and I asked myself, what is my custom? Mm. Somebody was to observe my life. Mm. What are some of the things that would come up yeah. that are my custom? Mm. Are they good things or bad <coughs> things? Very true. What, what consistency is in my life mm. that people can say, mm. do you hear Kosagi? Yeah. This, this is, is consistent. This yeah. is the consistency in his life. Yes. And to be honest, Percy, that was a challenge. Yeah. Because I have got highs and lows. Mm. Lots of them. We all do. Yeah. We all do. I'm thinking, what, Daniel? Yeah. So, he says, this was his custom since his early days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what was this custom? Number one, mm -hmm. it says he knelt down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just break it down now. Let's to what, break it down. What this guy used to do. Yeah. So he knelt down. Mm. I know there's a lot of debate on should I pray when kneeling, mm. standing, walking, mm. pacing, all sleeping. that, yeah, sleeping, all <laughs> that. <laughs> Sleep praying. Yeah, yeah. But but for me, what I see here, yeah, is is what what he physically did was what was happening in his heart. Mm. Yeah. He was coming at a place of helplessness. Mm -hmm. A place of dependence. Yes. You know when somebody is begging you something, yes. they even go down to their knees, they, they say, Tafadali, please. Yes. You know? Yes. So he, he's coming to a place of dependency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Place of humility. Humility. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not, that, that's why you're saying the hero of this story is not Daniel. Mm. Yeah. You see his dependence on God. On God. Yeah. So he's really coming to God, and you can see by, by, the, by the physical posture mm -hmm. where his heart is. Mm. Yeah. He's actually depending on God and he's saying, God, you've had what has been signed. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I'm just coming and I'm committing this this to you. Come, come, come and have your way. Mm -hmm. Intervene. I have no power. Yes. Yeah. It's not by my own might, but it's by your spirit. It's not by my own strength. Yes. Come, God. So that that, that posture of just kneeling to me shows what was happening in, in his heart. Mm -hmm. So whichever way you choose to pray. At the end of the day, is what is happening. What's the posture of your heart? In your, in your heart, yeah. So that's, that, that was one of his customs, mm -hmm. to kneel down, mm -hmm. okay? And, and, and somebody said, when you, when you kneel before God, you can stand before men. You can men. stand before men, very true. Yeah, you can stand before very men. Very true, very yeah. true. And then but he did it. it uh -huh. You know, Pasi, yeah. that kneeling is humbling. It's very humbling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and especially kneeling in a public place. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. I don't know whether you've you, you you've experienced this sometimes in church. Mm -hmm. uh, the service is going on, guys are worshiping, and you just get to another level. Yeah. And you don't even tell people. People start kneeling down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People just kneeling yes. down. I people are just happen. crying out to yes. God. Yes. But kuna wale maze. Then they sit down or they stand and they just look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, they are guys, surprisingly, they, they, they even pocket. The, yes. They're just staring around. Staring around. around. Yeah. 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 To, to 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 <laughs> but there's yeah. something about kneeling down. There's something about kneeling yes, down. There's something where about you humble yourself down. before mm. God. Mm. The other thing we see that was his custom, he did it three times a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and it's interesting, uh, David in Psalm 55, mm -hmm. 17 mm -hmm. says, I cry out to you evening, morning, and noon. Mm. Yeah. A pattern of prayer. A pattern of prayer. From another godly man yes. called David. Yes. Then we see it also with, with Daniel. With, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and for me here, I see something that is not just a, 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 a ritual. Mm -hmm. It's about relationship. Mm. Connecting with God. Yeah. Yeah. To the point that when you when you are away from him, you feel like I am disconnected. I'm disconnected. Yeah. So I can't wait for afternoon to reach your back there. Yeah, like Womba. Evening, you're back there. So relationship. You are so used to talking to this God and cultivating this relationship yes. that going without that that uh, part of your day. Yeah. It feels odd. It feels odd. Yeah. But I think one time I'd taken my wife to Isili. Mm -hmm to look for fabrics. Yeah. Yeah. And so it was almost lunch. In fact, it was lunch time. Yeah, yeah. So we entered this shop, nice fabrics. In fact, we had spotted something. We thought, this is it. Let's buy this one. Do you not leave Kuzo? Mm. Because the guy said, my friend, it's oh, time yes. for prayer. Oh, yes. This is my time for prayer. Atam Shan Chelevesha. Come here, I got to Fungi. Told us your money is not. Yeah. I got the, my, my prayer life is more important than your money. I've had the same nah, experience. Na <laughs> <laughs> na duka. Yes. Yeah, kama mnataka mkuti after yes. sanane. Yes. I've, I've, I've had the same experience. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I remember going to buy, I think I needed to buy a laptop. Yeah. Yeah. So I also went to one, one of those shops. Yeah. Yeah. And the guys told me. In fact, when, when we were there, most of the shops mm -hmm. belonged to, to, the, to our Muslim brothers. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I just the, the, those shutters for the shop. Yes. They are all being closed at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> so I thought <laughs> maybe <laughs> there's an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I was told, no, they are, they are going to pray. They're going for prayer. They're going for prayer. Then I've also dealt with Asian uh, businessmen. Mm. Yeah. I told you yesterday I have to do graphics. Yes. So yes. going to buy t-shirts to brand. Uh -huh. If I go there at one, I'll find the place closed. The place is closed. Yeah. They are offering their sacrifices, mm. yeah, doing their prayer. You know, Pastor, I read the story of a pastor. I think he had gone to see Pastor Yongi Cho. Mm. He was narrating an experience and he had a meeting with him. And then uh, as the meeting was going on, the secretary walked in and said, uh, uh, it's almost time for your next appointment. Mm. So this pastor finished up, but how mm -hmm. is it? I can the reception. Let me just wait, hopefully. Maybe his next appointment will take long. Mm. I can maybe catch up with him a few more minutes so that we wrap this thing up. Yes. So, akakapo, akakapo, akuna mtu alingia. So, he got curious and asked the yes. receptionist, the next appointment you talked about, wane mm -hmm. sangapi? Mm. Yeah, the next appointment is already here. Mm. But I haven't seen anybody mm. walking. Mm. It says, it's, it's his appointment for prayer. Wow. Yeah, nothing, nothing comes between him and his prayer time. Yeah. He has specific prayer times and he keeps his appointment mm, with God. Mm. And I thought, oh, yeah. idea. That is idea. The lion's den is the subject matter this week. We are following the story of Daniel today. We are focusing in on his prayer and his dedication to his prayer life. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, it stands out to me when Daniel knew the verdict was signed and went home, he gave thanks to God. Sio kulia na kuteta. What would I have done? My friend, those are the same questions I've been asking myself. Mm -hmm. Joyce in Uganda says it's shocking that as Christians, our appointment with God is only on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Atabi Ashara, 
atuwezi funga for even 20 minutes to go for lunch time prayer mm -hmm. hey wateja wateja <laughs> <laughs> Florence is saying we had a corporate meeting last week and at 12 noon and 4 p.m. we had to stop for the Muslims to go pray and you're wondering would this happen for us I think it would if we were diligent mm. as they are diligent when yeah, it comes to yeah, prayer very true yeah and for me it saddens <coughs> we perceive uh, because we we have the truth mm. And now she, I was asking this question the other day in church because of this whole shakahola mm -hmm. thing. And I was asking church members, I find it interesting as a pastor, just looking at this whole scenario, I tend to sometimes look at things from a very different perspective. And I asked the church, why is it mm -hmm. that people who are deceived mm -hmm. are more dedicated mm -hmm. than the people really who know true. the truth? Yeah. These people are willing to die. Yeah. Yeah. For a lie they have been yes, told. Yes, yes. Yet we who have the truth, mm. very true. And I thought, yeah. wow. Yeah. I was telling, I was telling the church. If those members were the members of this church, <laughs> hey, my friend, <laughs> to get caught, man, a Bali sana. Bali sana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they are obedient and mm. willing to mm. do what needs to mm. be done. Mm. But then a story for another day. Let's another go back day. to this prayer. Sour, sour. Yes. Because so it's it's speaking to all of us. All of us. Yes. So we see the custom of kneeling down. Mm -hmm. We see the custom of doing uh, prayer three times a day. Yes. It's, it's interesting. Somebody did the, the math. Yeah. And said uh, three times a day. Mm hmm and if you're 85 years old, akakufanya hesabu hapo, akaona this guy prayed about 95,000 times. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if, if God was keeping a record, yes. Yeah. Jamaa would have a big scroll. 95,000 times. Yes. Guy has offered those prayers. Mm -hmm. Now, think about it, JMO, cumulatively as Christians. Yeah. If we developed a habit of prayer mm. and we storm the gates of heaven with prayer mm. and like, like we say it doesn't have to be a long prayer mm. just a simple prayer just you make prayer. every day yeah and as you keep doing that you keep growing yeah in your prayer oh, life. Yeah. yeah like you said set a time mm. daniel had a place and a time and a time yeah so if we develop that discipline and then it goes beyond a ritual like i said for me the key mm. thing here is relationship mm. relationship yeah. And I think that that's what gave Daniel the confidence mm. to go into the lion's den. Because mm. as he's praying, he knows they are watching. Yeah. 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 He knows, mm. Mm. I know you are you're watching me. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you reason. Open the windows, pray. Mm. Pray. He knew he's ending up in the lion's den. But because of the relationship he had with God, yeah. his heart was at peace. Completely at peace. And, and, and that peace is shown, mm -hmm. like, like somebody has just said in one of those uh, messages, that he prayed and gave and thanks. Gave thanks. Yeah, it's, I mean, not, it's not a moment of thanksgiving. Hey, you're losing and binding. I'm telling yes. you. Or <laughs> Daniel would have <laughs> circulated a petition. Yes. Yes, against what has been signed. Forward this to as many Christians mm -hmm. as possible. Mm. Uh, but he gave thanks. He gave thanks. And then... His prayer mm -hmm. was not camouflaged. You see, like that artist you've said was told to remove Jesus from yes, there. Yes, yes. His prayer was not camouflaged. So that even when those guys were coming to listen. Yes. He is not praying to the king. He's not praying, you know, king. But no, in his heart, he's, you know, he's taking king. God who kissed you, he's king. I'm sure he began with the God of Abraham. Yes. Isaac, Isaac and, and Jacob. Jacob. I'm praying to. That, that Darius is not God. Mm. Yeah. So it is also a public testimony. Yeah. I, I believe one, one of the reasons why he did it yes. openly. Yes. It was to publicly testify yes. that God in heaven is the true God. Mm. Yeah. And let it be known. That is the one I will worship. Yeah. The one I will bow down to yes. and kneel to. So he made it open like a public testimony mm -hmm. to, for everybody to see. Who is the true God? Who is the true God? Yeah. And he gave thanks. It's like he, he knew the mind of Paul. Mm. You know, Paul in uh, Philippians 4.16, when he says, you know, in everything, mm. with prayer and, and supplication, supplication. Yes. with thanksgiving, with thanksgiving, make yes. your request known to God. Yes. And then what follows after that? The peace of mm. God. That is where his peace came from. Yes. Mm. 
which surpasses all human understanding. Yeah. Fill your mind and your heart in Christ Jesus. And that is what Daniel obtained when he just went ahead mm. to pray. Yeah. You know, Basi, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> like I told him, I said, I don't know how my mind works. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just listening to what we're talking about. And mm. the, the thought that's coming to my mind is this, this decree that was signed mm. was for a 30-day period. Yes. And I'm just thinking, how many of us would be able to sustain mm. Daniel's lifestyle mm. for 30 days? Mm. Yeah. If we challenged ourselves, he prayed three times a day yes. for the next yes. 30 days. Yes. Yes. God, mm. I'm setting three appointments with you. Mm. Yeah, subui. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I want to keep them consistently mm. every day, mm. Monday to Monday, mm. for, 30, for 30, days. 30 days. You know, Jemo, it's a good challenge. But it's possible. Yes. You know, you know how? Yeah. You can decide mm. morning, yes. it's personal. It's me and God. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. Yes. So I've set aside a place where, like Jesus did, uh -huh. you sleep away to be alone. To be alone. Yes. Yeah. Afternoon, mm -hmm. if you work in an office, yes. maybe you have a Christian brother, Christian yeah. sister, yeah. you can actually decide. Mm. Let's, let's have after lunch or before lunch, yeah. let's meet and just do like a 15 minute, a 15 minute, 15 prayer. minute prayer. Yeah, let's yeah. connect with God. In the evening, mm. if, you, if you're a family man, mm. like, like you and I, family altar, mm. there you've done it three times. Three times. Yeah. If you're a single person, consistently. if you're a single person, you even have now the big advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Jioni mm. Yeah. You can even now skuma. Yeah, so it is actually possible. <laughs> and I believe, and I don't know, I just feel like for, for, for you who's tuned in this, this morning and, and prayer is a struggle in your life, mm. maybe this would be a good thing to challenge yourself mm. and see if you can sustain it. And, and the key thing here is consistency. Mm. Yeah, I know sometimes we worry so much about I haven't prayed for long. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Be consistent. Be consistent. Yeah. Even if it's five minutes in the morning, five minutes, I can guarantee it will begin to grow. Oh, yes. Yes. It will. And you will begin to see. And God will do something in your prayer yeah. life. Yeah, That's will. a challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm actually throwing it out to you. Maybe I should begin it officially. 30-day <laughs> prayer, prayer challenge. challenge. You just never know. And mm. Daniel was a busy man. He was a government official. Oh, yes. He had a lot of work to do. Yeah. But he was so busy that he could not afford not to not pray. To pray. Yeah. Who was the preacher who said that? I don't know, but I, I just really remember it. <laughs> yeah, there's a preacher yeah. who said that the, the days he's the busiest is that are the days he prays the most. Yeah, that's the day you pray the most. Because you need God's help. Yeah, you need God's help. Because you have this amount of things to do. Wow. And you have a God who is saying, I have all the resources. Mm. Yeah. All the help you need, I can yes. give it to you. So rather than try and plow through it by yourself, mm -hmm. come to God and ask. And then when you're busy, you get tired. So you come and you find rest in mm -hmm. him, in prayer. Mm. Mm. Wow. But we get so distracted. Yeah. In fact, I was going to say, one of the things that will stop us from going through that challenge, mm. we are too much on the phone <laughs> to now watch my, my reels, TikTok videos, <laughs> to eat Facebook, to scroll your so By the time you're yeah. done, it's an hour. Eh, Gone another five minutes. Imagine to pass. Yeah. Imagine to. Yeah. Another hour, yeah. <laughs> and you have no time for prayer. Gone. Yes. So, I, and I like that challenge that that, that you thrown. Because even even when I was coming, I was just saying, mm -hmm. today let's challenge ourselves. Yes. To examine our prayer life. Yes. Yeah. How how is our prayer? Because for me, this verse ten is is like the the pivot for this story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, the real lion's den mm -hmm. was in Daniel's upper room. Oh. That is where the real battle was fought. Was taking place. Yes. That's where the battle was won. That was the real battle. Wow. Yeah. Because if the compromise was done here, yeah. done. But this is where the, the real battle took place. This, this was the real lion's den for, for him. For him. Yeah. You know, I see we live in a, in a day where the power of prayer is being challenged. Mm -hmm. And especially in our country. Mm -hmm. You know, we are praying, people are saying prayer is being done and nothing much is happening. Yeah. Yeah. There was uh, 
a conversation I was following up on, 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 on social media the other day. Uh, somebody's child had been mm. kidnapped yes, and somebody yes. commented on it and he said if it was them, they wouldn't even take mm. the time to pray. Mm. They would do mm. this, this and that instead. And it sparked up quite an uproar mm. within the Christian community. Mm. And I think when I think about Daniel, because isn't this the same Daniel who realized that according to the prophecy, mm. Mm. our time in captivity should have yes. been over. Yes. And he started to pray. Yes. Now not for himself, but for but an entire nation. Exactly. And God moves. Mm -hmm. It's the power of prayer, man. The power of prayer. Yeah. yeah. Which we sometimes neglect. And the power of prayer goes with the study of the word. Mm -hmm. Those two cannot be divorced. Yeah. Because it is after he read yes, that he that. knew how to pray within the will of God. Wow. So sometimes we don't pray because we don't read scripture. We don't read scripture. Yeah. Because when you read scripture, scripture mm -hmm. begins to reveal to you the will of God. Mm -hmm. And you begin to see the things that are not aligning. Yes. And therefore God invites you. Just like he did for Abraham. Mm -hmm. When the angels came yeah. and they told Abraham, this is what we've, we've come to do. Yes. Yeah. And Abraham was able to intercede mm -hmm. because of the revelation he had received. Yes. Yes. So we don't receive revelation from the word. Therefore, we don't pray. Wow. Mm. Daniel saw the revelation. Yes. He began to pray. And like we said yesterday, it is before the lion's den mm. that this king gave that edict that people can go back and rebuild Jerusalem. Mm. One man making a difference. Making a difference. Mm. Through his prayer life. Through his prayer life. I like, I like what, I think it's uh, Corrie ten Boom who says that, uh, you know, prayer, prayer should be the steering wheel of your life, mm. not the spare wheel. Ooh. It should be the steering, steering wheel, wheel of mm. your life, not the yeah. spare wheel, not the thing that you pull out yeah. when, when, there's crisis. when there's crisis. Or the thing you pull out when everything else has not worked. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. In fact, we like making that statement. Uh, Sasa maali tumefika, ni maombi tu. Mi naona tu ni maombi. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it becomes like the spare wheel. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Got to say it, yeah. Yes. Yes. One more thing. Yes, and then we can pray. And then we can pray. Yeah. Sometimes we may find ourselves where the law of the land goes against what God is saying. Ooh, like this one. Like this particular instance. Our highest loyalty as Christians mm -hmm. is to God first. Mm -hmm. It happened even in the Acts of the Apostles. When, when they were told, you know, they were flogged and they were told, yeah. don't preach this name of Jesus again. again. But these guys, they left there and they said, we'd rather obey God than, than man. obey man. Yeah. And they left there with joy. Imagine. Counting it worthy. To have suffered. To have suffered <laughs> for the name. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. So I thought I'd just point that out that mm -hmm. sometimes, mm -hmm. yes, we may, we may have to mm. say, no. Yeah. This this does not go well with us because we are citizens of heaven. Yeah. And we are here. We we cannot we cannot operate. Very true. Mm. And we we should not wait until that time to start prayer. Yeah. Because if we do that, it will not sustain us. Mm -hmm. Daniel did this from when he was a young man. Yes. Yeah. When things are good we pray. Mm -hmm. When things are bad we keep praying. Pray. pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Mm -hmm. I was telling church that sometimes you know what's happening in people's lives generally mm. by looking at the attendance of prayer. Kiana hatu umeanza kujaja unajua watu wachapwa na maisha huko nje. They come to crowd for good. It, it, it happens in January when the yes. year begins and yes. kila mtu anataka pia kwa watu wakianza kubarikiwa au oh, amepata promotion oh the business is thriving people forget prayer. Mm. People disappear. Mm. Yeah, you remain with the <laughs> <laughs> The few. The few who are yeah. always everywhere. Yeah. You know, there are those people in church mm. in the work team, in the worship team. They're in every team. Then they mm. are just they just love being there mm. doing something. Mm. Those are the ones you remain with. But yes. may God help us. May God help us. And challenge us to, to yes. come up high in our prayer. Very true. I can see clarity, but some you said you're up for the challenge. I'm up for the challenge. May it favor the Lord as I seek his will. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's take that challenge. Thirty day prayer challenge. Three times a day like Daniel. Mm. And let's be see if we can sustain it for a good 30 days. I couldn't go off weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. daily. Daily. Daily, 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 daily. Are you mm -hmm. up for the challenge? If you're up for the challenge, let me know on 20316 for SMS and WhatsApp 786 316 316.
Tungaji. Yes. Sir. We need to pray. All right. Mm. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much mm. once again because of the shining example of Daniel. Yes. It's quite a challenge for each and every one of us mm. to have such courage, such convic conviction, such commitment to you, Lord. Mm. But we thank you because it is possible. Yes. Because your word tells us in the book of Titus that the grace of God has appeared mm. and it offers salvation to all people. Hallelujah. And it teaches us to say no to ungodliness and mm. to worldly passions but to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present mm -hmm. age. And Father, we pray that we may appropriate that grace in our lives yes. so that in the midst of uh, a world which is compromising, the midst of a world that uh, desires us to conform to, to, to its pattern, that Father, you will help us to be the Daniels of this generation. Mm -hmm. Help us, Father, in our prayer life. The Lord will draw so close to you and build such a, an intimate relationship with you mm. such that prayer becomes such a natural thing. Just a conversation that we have with a loving Father yes. at any time, at any moment, at any place. Mm. And I pray even in the midst of things that may go against our faith, mm. the Lord we will not lose our faith, yes. but we will stand firm. Help us, Father, to truly say, that we can choose to die for you mm. so that, Lord, we may live for you in this present age. Yes. We thank you. We bless you for this. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you so much. That's Demo. a good challenge. Yeah. I Amen. see people are saying, I am up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. Lynette, you're up for the challenge. Unila from Mombasa, you're up for the challenge. Okay. We'll see what we can put together and challenge ourselves to pray. Three times a day for 30 days. Our time for the devotional hour is up for this morning. We'll pick up this conversation again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new fresh content every day. Stay tuned and enjoy fresh uplifting content.